The crash happened at around 9.30 this morning. The team's car had been out on a test run reaching speeds of around 200 miles an hour. As the car was returning to be looked at by engineers, it slowed down. Witnesses say the wheels appeared to lock and it crashed. Eyewitnesses say the car had been misfiring, but there didn't seem to be any concerns. The impact left Maria de Viotta wedged under the tail lift of a lorry. Just suddenly, I went smashing into the side of one of the trucks that was uh, parked there. It was actually the truck that had brought the car there. And uh, her helmet impacted on the side of the truck. We could see it quite clearly. The car was doing 30 or 40 miles an hour. It was, it was very shocking, very sudden. Everybody was utterly stunned by what had happened. Everybody was just completely shocked. Um, family members devastated, they didn't know what's going on. It, it wasn't clear how she was at that point and um, everybody sort of rushed towards it uh, after about a minute of just panic, no one knew what was going on. Maria de Viotta is one of only two female test drivers in Formula One. It took paramedics over an hour to move her from the scene. She was taken to Addenbrooke's hospital with life-threatening head and facial injuries. This afternoon, Mauricia issued a statement saying Maria is conscious and medical assessments are ongoing. An investigation is now underway to try and work out exactly what caused the crash. Felicity Simper, BBC Oxford News.